there is nothing like a hot meal to help you thaw out after a chilly Monday. Stephanie and Tony Tantello are in the kitchen with a flavorful dish. That's Especially sure to if it's a hot and delicious. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> got some red pepper flakes in there. <laughs> no, she told me not to. She goes, Dad, no red pepper on this one. I said, okay, Steph. We have something delicious here with yep. some cauliflower that's in season right now. Yep. Winter grown, which means the colder makes it actually sweeter. When you buy it, nice and white all the way around. Very, very important. If you're from any rust color whatsoever, and the larger the head, the better they're going to be this time of year. When you bring them home with the wrapped in cellophane, open up that cellophane and put them in the refrigerator. And I love how you did this. That's small, small pieces. Yep. So the beautiful thing about cauliflower is that actually as you break up the florets, they're going to be the same shape. You just have to make them smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. It's a, and so it's really incredible when you do that. So we just kind of stood here for a while. We made them nice and small. Right. Which makes it beautiful in the presentation. We cook that with the raisins and the almonds instead of pine nuts because what we're going to do now is add some orange zest. Now, like we do with the raisins, the sugar started coming out at a very slow mm -hmm. heat, right? Very slow low heat. heat with that. And, you know, you cook it with the pasta when the pasta is very al dente. Uh -huh. And then the starches kind of come out and make the sauce a little bit creamy. Sweet. And the beautiful thing about the orange zest is that oranges and something like cauliflower, they're actually very good friends. So when you combine them in a plate like this, the flavor profile is really incredible. And would you put a cheese on this pasta, stuff, or would you just leave it just like it is, or breadcrumbs? You could do a cheese if you want okay. to. You could always do breadcrumbs, of course. It's a Sicilian dish, so we see both that, but I really just like the refreshingness of the orange. Perfect. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and plate this right here. Oh. A lot of flavors, and like you, like you said, Steph, so simple. Exactly. The sugars from the raisins, the orange zest, mm -hmm. so many flavors are combined here. I get a better shot of that. <laughs> there you go. I should use a flatter plate. Oh. I think that's a perfect size plate. And like you also said, take your time and let the sauce mm -hmm. create on its own. Exactly. Thank you. And Bella. very important that the pasta is very al dente when you add it to the pan. I keep adding pasta water as you go. Now I get to try it. It's all yours. Mmm. <laughs> Oh boy, that's good. <laughs> Patience, right? Patience. Patience, while you're exactly. That. Thanks, guys. <laughs>